We have 4x squared equals 144. x squared equals 144 divided by 4, which is 36. x equals the square root of 36, which is 6. Either way, you should end up with x equals 6. Okay, last example, find the value of x. Take a moment, work this one out yourself. When you're ready, resume the videos to watch the solution. All right, again, n is the n center, meaning that n's distance from the three sides is all equal. And yet again, we have a right triangle with hypotenuse of 25. Using Pythagorean theorem, Ooh, okay. Actually, we're not going to use that right, right triangle, but we're going to use this one because we have the length of 24 here. The hypotenuse is still 25, though, so this will work. And we just know that this line segment NF is 14x. Again, you can set this up one of two ways. You can just leave it as a squared, and then plus 24 squared equals c squared not c squared, but 25 squared. a squared plus five seventy six equals six twenty five. a squared equals 49, a equals the square root of 49, which equals 7. But we know that 14x equals a, so 14x equals 7, because a is that whole length of the side here. Thus, x equals 7 over 14, or 1 half. Now, the other way we could solve this is instead of leaving the side as simply a, we can plug in 14x, but that entire quantity in parentheses squared, plus 24 squared equals 25 squared. We get 196x squared plus 576 equals 625. 196x squared equals 49. x squared equals 49 over 196. x squared equals 1 fourth or 0.25 x equals the square root of 1 fourth, which is 1 half. In either case, we come up with x equals 1 half. And that's it. So if you have any other questions, or if nothing was clear about angle bisectors, make sure you go back, review an angle bisector, review how an angle bisector appears in a triangle. What you really do need to make note of is that the angle bisectors intersect at the point that's called the in-center, and that this in-center is equidistant from the sides of the triangle. That's the most important thing. This will help for a great deal of the problems we're going to solve that have to deal with angle bisectors and in-centers.